Hi, I'm the Lockpicking Cuber, and in this video I thought I'd have a look at some standard um, handcuffs and show you why they're perhaps not as hard to pick open as you might think. So these are fairly common handcuffs, the kind that the UK police used to use, um, and they're called a Paul and Ratchet um, handcuff, and I'll explain why that is in a second. So the way they work is that you push the cuff shut and it keeps ratcheting. You can keep going until it comes all the way around to the other side, but obviously if there's a, a hand or a wrist going through there, then it stops. Um, the way that you lock it, first of all, you push down on this pin here, and this is the double locking pin. So if I push on that, now the cuffs can't tighten anymore. And this is to protect the person who's wearing them, as well as to make it harder to pick open. So now it's stuck in both directions. So now to open them, I turn the key first, anti-clockwise, and that undoes the double locking mechanism. So now they can be tightened. And then I turn the key clockwise just a little bit, and that just loosens them up so they can flip open. Now, to make this easier to understand, I've got another very similar one, um, but where the uh, outer layer here has been removed and replaced with some clear plastic so we can see what's going on. And the pieces inside have been color coded. So there are really four main pieces in here. We've got um, this uh, red lock bar, uh, also known as a pole, and this is why um, these handcuffs are called pole and ratchet. The ratchet is these teeth and the mechanism that they make when they engage with the teeth on the red pole. Um, the blue bar here is the double lock bar or double lock pole, and we have this yellow spring um, in between. You'll see why that's important in a, in a minute. And then we have this pin, which is the double locking pin, which pushes on this blue bar. So if I double lock, all that happens, you see here, is that I'm pushing that blue bar, the double lock bar, downwards. And the reason that matters is that now this little red notch on the, uh, on the, on the main locking bar can no longer move upwards. So when I try to push this way, the teeth push against the um, bottom here, and that tries to push the red bar upwards, and it can't go anywhere. So when I unlock the double locking mechanism, all I'm really doing is pushing that blue bar out of the way. Um, at this point, when it is double locked, it's only being held in place by that yellow spring by the yellow spring, so the pin hitch can, can fall away under gravity. So the yellow spring is essential there to hold the blue bar in place. And now I can move the blue bar out of the way. Okay, so what about picking this open? Well, you've probably seen it done with a paper clip and there's a reason people do that. All you need is just a thin bit of metal that you can get in here and lift up this red pole. And that releases these teeth uh, on the ratchet and then the cuff will open up. So that's really all it takes, just lifting up that red bar. Now, if it's double locked, we have to get the pin in here and push this blue bar out of the way. It's a little bit trickier, fiddlier to do. I'm not going to do it right now, but it isn't too difficult once you get um, into the habit of it. Um, and that's all it takes. Now, there is another way to get into these handcuffs, which is using a shim. Um, so this is an example. It doesn't have to have this notch that's designed for um, more specialist types of handcuffs, but the idea is you just get a little bit of metal, it could be a piece of a Coke can or something like that, and we're going to slide it between the teeth, between the um, silver teeth and the red teeth. Now the problem is if I just press it against here, it's just going to hit up against the red pole and not go anywhere. So what we have to do is just slightly tighten the teeth, not even necessarily, oops, <laughs> not even necessarily a whole tooth's worth, just enough to be able to slide this in and then it opens up because it's lifted. It's just another way of lifting up um, the red teeth there. So there we go. Um, these are actually very simple devices. The keys are all the same. They all work in the same way. Um, once you know how to pick them and you've practiced it a bit, it's, it's pretty easy to do. I hope you've enjoyed um, seeing how this all works. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.